All right, hey class. Hope uh, Christian, Xavier, you're watching. Uh, today your goal is for you to be able to model adding integers. So before we just add positive and negative numbers, I want you to be able to model it. So using these symbols before I just expect you to be able to do it on your own, just using numbers. So let's go over what I want to first. First of all, these green dots, they're going to represent positive values. Now, if you don't have colored pencils or markers at home and you're just using a pencil or a pen, I want you to use solid black dots for positive values or positive integers. The red ones on here are going to represent negative values. So again, if you've got a pen or a pencil at home that you're using to watch this and take notes, I want you to use an open dot to represent the negative values. Now, real quick, if you look back at your vocabulary packet for Unit 1, an additive inverse. We're going to have to use this term to solve some of these problems. Now remember, an additive inverse means that when we add 1 and its opposite value, negative 1, we're going to get 0. Alright? The opposite of 1 is negative 1. The opposite of negative 1 is going to be 1. So whenever I have one positive value, one negative, and they're both worth the same, negative one, positive one, they're going to cancel each other out. And we're going to use that to show you how to model adding integers. So first, an easy one. Positive three, three positive green dots, plus positive four, so I used four positive green dots. When we add those up, we combine them, and we're going to get positive 7. So here's these three, and then these positive 4s right there. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for our answer. But everyone knows how to add numbers like that already. Now, let's look at adding positive and negative numbers. So, positive 5. I'm going to use 5 green dots to express positive 5, 5 positive units, plus negative 2, 2 red units, 2 negative units. When I combine these, because we're adding, I combine them, I'm going to get 3, or positive 3, and this is why. I've moved these 5 positive units over here, and these 2 negative units over here. Now, like I said before, the additive inverse, one positive unit plus one negative unit is going to give us zero. It's going to cancel out. So for every positive unit I have on here, I'm going to cross out a negative unit. There goes those two. And there goes those two. All I'm left with now are one, two, three positive values, which is why I get an answer of positive 3 when I add 5 plus negative 2. And the last problem on this board, I've got positive 1, one green dot, plus negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 red dots, 6 negative units. When I add these up, I combine them, I bring the one green dot over, the six red dots over, and remember, I'm going to cancel out every positive unit for every negative unit that's left over at the end of our problem. Well, one green, one red. That's it. Once you're left with only one color, you're done. And it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five red dots left. And since red dots are negative, my answer is going to be negative five. Now, an easy way to think about positive and negative values real quick is to think about positive values as money you have and negative values as money that you owe someone. So for example, look back at this problem. Let's say you have five dollars. That's positive value. It's money you got. But you owe your friend two dollars. 
Let's say you pay your friend the two bucks that you owe him. Well, you add five, you pay him the two bucks you owe. Now you're left with positive three because you still have that three dollars left over. This one, a little bit different. You have one dollar. All right, you've got one dollar. Let's say you owe your mom six dollars because you want to go to the movie theater. You combine them. Let's say you pay the one dollar you have to your mom. Well, you pair that one dollar you have, you've got no more money left. All right, no more positive values, no more cash. At the end, you still owe five dollars to your mom which is why our answer is negative five. All right, so another way to go about thinking about adding integers together is to use positive values as money that you have and negative values as money that you owe. Next slide. All right, again, these mean the exact same thing. If you want to use solid black dots, for the positive values, you can do that. And then I would recommend using open white dots for the negative values. So let's look at this problem over here. I've got negative eight, so eight red dots, and positive five, five green dots. I'm gonna combine them. So here are all of those dots right here. And I told you, in this problem, our answer is going to give us negative 3. Well, follow along, and I'll show you why. For every green dot or red dot, we got to cancel out the other one. So, there goes one green, one red. 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 I can't can cancel out anymore, and look what I'm left with. One, two, three three red dots which represent negative units that's why my answer is negative three again real quick pretend like this is money that you have and money you owe let's say you owe your dad eight dollars and let's say you have five you pay your dad the five bucks that you have now you don't have any money left but you only owe your dad three more dollars. And since it's money that you owe, it's negative. All right, moving on. Next, negative five plus positive seven. Remember, positive values class, I am not going to put a positive sign in front of that value because rarely you're never gonna see a positive sign in front of a seven if it's a positive seven, right? If I write this number out, you know it's positive. So there's no need for me to do this to let you know it's positive. All right, so rarely are you ever gonna see a positive seven written like that. So I'm gonna erase this because we don't need it. Negative five, so I've got five negative units. Positive seven, I've got seven positive units. Five negatives, seven positives. I combine them because I'm adding. Remember when you add things together, you're combining them. And I have to cross out every green value for every red value. Every positive value, or sorry, every positive unit for every negative unit. So, I'm gonna cancel out one red, one green. One red, one green. One red, one green, one red, one green. One red, one green. Can't cancel out any more. I'm left with two green units, or positive two, which is why my answer is positive two. And for the last one, don't let this throw you off. All right, now we're adding two negative integers, two negative values. Again, even though they're all red dots, just like in the last slide, we added two positive numbers, they were all green dots. So, negative four, one, two, three, four negative units, plus negative two, 
one, two negative units. I'm going to combine them, add them together, and I'm going to get negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have any positive units to cancel out with any negative units. So, all the units that moved over here, we're going to have to keep. Again, look at it like this in terms of money. Let's say you owe your brother $4 and you owe your brother $2 for separate things. All right, maybe this 4 bucks was for lunch that he bought you and maybe this 2 bucks was for some ice cream he bought you another day. Okay? So you owe your brother $4 for the lunch, $2 for the dessert. Total, you owe your brother $6, which is why our answer is still negative. All right, and the last slide, if I can get this over, there we go. I want you to do these on your own. So, pause the video, work them out using your green dots and red dots, or if you want to use your solid black dots and open white dots, you can do that. But work these out, make sure you pause the video, then come back, See if you got it right. Okay, let's see how we did. Well, first, negative four, remember. Negative four, for the negative values, we're gonna use red dots. So I'm gonna draw four of these. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna let the green dots represent positive units. So we've got nine green dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to combine them. I'm going to add them up. So over here I get four red units. Two, three, four, plus the nine green units. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now I have to cancel out the ones I can. So, take away one red, take away one green. One red, one green. One red, one green. One red, one green. And we are left with one, two, three, four, five positive units, which will give us an answer of positive 5. Next one. Positive 2 plus negative 3. I'm going to use green dots for the positive value. 1, 2. Negative 3 gets 1, 2, 3. Negative units. 1, 2, 3. Negative 3. I'm going to combine them. Two positive units are going to move over. Three negative units are going to move over. Cancel out what I need to. One red, one green. One red and one green. And I'm left with one red unit. Remember, the red dots represent negative units. There is one of them, so my answer must be negative one. Again, one more time, like we're dealing with cash. You've got two bucks. You owe your sister three dollars. You're going to give your sister the two bucks you have, all right? So now you have no money left, but you only owe your sister one dollar now instead of three. And for the last one, adding two negative integers. We're going to use red to represent the negative units. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm adding, so I'm going to combine them together. Over here, I can move these five. One, two, three, four, five, and then I have to use these six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I'm gonna cancel out. Nothing. Did I trick anybody? No? Alright. I'm gonna cancel out nothing because I don't have a green unit to cancel out with a red unit. So, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 negative units, which gives me an answer of negative 11. Hope you got these right. If you got any questions, be sure to ask me at the beginning of class or right after we take our quiz on this. Hope everyone took great notes. Check your homework tomorrow. Have a great day.